since I put my first uh, introductory message up onto my channel. But I thought I'd do a quick message to you about a new treatment that I've started to take about six weeks ago, um, which is called Zeljance. It's one of the newest biological DMARDs um, that's become available in Australia, and I think it's been in America for a few years now, but it, nevertheless, it's one of the newest. Um, it's otherwise known as tofacitinib, and uh, I just want to let you know, because I've been on this new treatment for about six weeks, and at, at the time that I was prescribed it, I was looking for other people that were on it uh, on the internet, and there really wasn't much information. So um, I just want to let you know that I've been on it for about six weeks and I feel like it's really doing something. I feel like it's working in a positive way. So the first thing to, for me to explain to you is that this is um, a biological DMARD, uh, similar to Enbrel, uh, Infliximab, Abartacept, etc. The difference with this one is that it's actually in tablet form, so you don't have to inject yourself, which is what you have to do with all the other ones which is really quite handy. So you have to take one tablet morning and night. Um, the other thing with this particular drug uh, is that the only way that you can get access to it is if you haven't responded well to other treatments. And chances are, if you're watching this um, and you're, you're in the line for something like this, you have rheumatoid arthritis. So I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis 30 years ago and it is the closest form of inflammatory arthritis that we can say um, that relates to my condition, although uh, it became apparent after uh, some period of time that my arthritis isn't traditional rheumatoid arthritis. My joint damage is different. I don't have a rheumatoid factor. Um, I have relatively low inflammation in my body compared to the amount of joint damage in my body. So whatever this inflammatory arthritis is that I have, it's causing the joint damage to be very severe um, without the amount of inflammation that goes along with it. And I have tried other biological DMARDs and to, they really haven't done a huge amount. So this is why I was, um, you know, suggested that I try this new one. And so the point I want to make is that uh, not everyone can get access to it. It's hard enough to get access to the biological DMARDs, uh, let alone getting access to Zeljanx. It's not for everyone and it, has a, it targets specific things which may or may not be occurring in your particular situation. I've been on it for about six weeks and I'm due to have blood tests in two months, at the two month mark, and what I'm expecting to see is uh, lower levels uh, of uh, CRP and ERP, uh, your standard inflammatory levels uh, markers in the blood. Uh, I'm expecting to see that. I haven't had an uh, anti-inflammatory for two weeks, which is awesome, and I'm uh, having less pain uh, every day when I get up in the morning. So it seems like it's doing something. It's still very early days. The other thing I thought I might explain to you is what it actually does. Now, for me, I have always been someone that's wanted to learn about my condition and try and understand what's actually going on. Now, that's hard because, you know, rheumatologists spend like 12 years studying and to someone that's um, not, a, not a medical person, it can be very hard to understand how it works. But I'm trying to just understand at least a very minute portion of it to help myself out as much as I can. So just to give you an idea of how this works, um, and in my own layman's terms, it's called a JAK3 inhibitor. JAK3, JAK1, JAK2 and JAK3 are enzymes that are part of the process that creates the um, inflammation in someone that has rheumatoid arthritis. It is a fairly early on in the process. It's earlier on than your um, TNF, IL-1, IL-6 type processes that happen. So why this particular drug is supposed to work is that the JAK3, um, the JAK3s are inhibited by this drug and it actually prevents them from binding 
to these cytokines, such as your TNFs, your IL-1s and your IL-6s, um, which, which actually uh, foster the overabundance of inflammation that goes straight to your joints that causes the synovial fluid damage, etc, etc, etc. So it kind of made sense when I understood it, but it took me a while to understand why it would potentially work. If your body is not inflamed as a consequence of those types of things that I've just mentioned, it's unlikely to do anything. So um, really it's a bit hit and miss. It's out there, it's worth talking to your rheumatologist about and I'm really happy that I, um, you know, I'm on it and, you know, there are side effects to it but you can't really worry too much about that. We'll just, you just have to get on it and if you suffer the side effects then maybe you'll have to go off it but the good thing is, is that you have regular tests to see what's actually going on. So, uh, so far so good. I'll keep you informed as to how it progresses. Thanks very much. Bye.